Floss too. It's Bonnie, Curly Girl Crafter in Colorado. It's Floss Tube number three. It's going to be strictly a haul video. It's August 2nd, 2021. Can you believe it's already the first part of August? I can't. I don't know where July went. Anyway, so we're just gonna get right into it. It's only haul today. And well, let me give you an update on the weather outside. It's actually pretty nice today. Right now it's only it's only 79, so it's it's the weather temperature is nice, but it's smoky here up north where I live. It there's a fire in Steamboat Springs, and so we're getting the smoke from the fire, sadly. Um so that's the update on that. Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna start off with books. This haul is most of this stuff is it's come from probably April till about now, I think. So I hope this isn't too much. I, I don't think it will be. I'm, I'll move pretty quickly. I'm going to start with the books that I have. Teresa Kogan. She's one of my favorite artists. Oopsie. She's amazing. I love all her artwork. This is a uh, land that I love. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Love everything about it. Love the houses. Love everything. Okay. Celebrate is another one from her. I can't show you anything in here, but if you're looking for a book that has some different seasons in it to choose from, this is a great little book that has some little charts in it. There's not a bunch of colored pictures in here, or otherwise I would share with you. Um, there's flowers and I see some butterflies, some animals, which, hey, I'm all about the animals. Let me tell you, there's a sheep and a pig and some chickens, um, a tree, a Christmas one. There's a fall one. I see a snowman, adorable, but there's no colored pictures. Okay. And so I've gotten on board with the whole, um, Blackbird design. I'm just collecting things um, as I come across them or I find them of things that I like and would someday like to stitch. And I'm just paying regular prices. I'm not paying anything crazy. And I know you guys have seen most of these. Um, I'm not gonna flip through them. I might show you a project that I like or I think is unique just for something different to show you. Ooh la la, Blackbird Designs. Um, I'm not gonna try to pronounce any of the patterns in here because I'm pretty sure I cannot pronounce them. There's one in here, though. This one right here. Whoops. The chart's there on the other side. Let me fix this up a little better. Okay. Because the lighting is not as good as I had hoped in here. I'm in my sewing room. Hold on just one second. I'm going to twist the blind and let a little more light in here. Um, for a different view, I kind of thought it'd be kind of fun to be in here. Let's see if that helps a little bit. No, it's still kind of dark. So I thought this little pin cushion was uh, really interesting. There's like little patchwork down here at the bottom, um, which I think makes this kind of a different little pin keep with a sampler, an alphabet sampler on it. So I thought that was kind of cool. Everything in here is amazing, of course. Uh, sewing club. I know everybody has seen this. Maybe if I step back a little bit, that might help. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there was a, there's one in here too, I think is pretty unique and really cute. Um, of course you think I could find it. Here it is. It's called Summer Flocks. But look at this little flower pen keep. Isn't that cute? Love it. Okay, another Blackbird Designs, Away We Ride. Love this, love everything about this. Okay, this lighting's better. I changed something. It says, Away We Ride Till It's Dark as Pitch To Find the Home of the Wicked Witch. <laughs> love that. Okay, all right, this one, I had never seen this one before, and I saw this and fell in love with this immediately. And I've seen a lot of Blackbird stuff over the years because I've done quilting and I've seen things, but I'd never seen this one. I love this one so much. Frosty Night Out. Look how cute. He's very vintage looking. 
Oh, I just love him. So excited to have that one. This one's in Friendship's Way. And love the bird on the front. I think that's my favorite one in this. Just love it. Um, and of course, there's this one has the button box in it. And I'm pretty sure Brenda and Laura over at Serial Stitcher Starter. Serial Starter. <laughs> Both were working on that one, or ha had it finished. I think it's so. I think Brenda had hers done, and Laura was doing it, or something. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure they had that. Okay, and then they have Blackbird Designs had designed a bunch of um, stockings, little stockings that you could stitch on, and also Brenda and Laura were showing these as well not very long ago. And so I picked up a couple of these. Uh, I thought I'd share them with you. This one is Love is in the Air. And we've got Splendid September. Fun. Sweet August. The, one, the other one in here that I really love is this Posy one. Or Poppy. Poppy. They're poppies. Oranges. So pretty. And then this has got to be one of my favorite ones. Uh, Thankful November. The, there's a turkey on this one. Like, are you kidding me? Yes, please. Love the turkey. So cute. Can't wait to do that one. I don't know why. Turkeys are hilarious. Where I travel quite a bit, there's wild turkey everywhere. And they're just so hilarious. Okay. This is Souvenirs of Summer. And I know everyone has been seeing this. Uh, the one that really strikes me is so interesting of course because it's has something to do with the ocean in it with big fish is this one that says America I kind of like that one it's kind of fun but everything in there is good and then I also got um, Bonnie and Camille's quilt book but in this quilt book is also a stitchery project that coordinates with the quilt um, my daughter has already started this one and she says it's really fun to stitch on because of all the bright colors on the white isn't it fun look at the flowers it is just really bright colors and fun it would be a really fun one to stitch I think okay so those are the books that I have um, I do have some fallish and Christmas stuff more but I think I'm gonna save that for another day there's quite a bit going on here okay so I I also ramped up my um, my floss, and I mostly got Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Arts, I believe. Let's see here. Um, yeah, so let me just show you some of these. Colors. They're just kind of fun. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll take them out of here. I'm, just, I'm not going to show these individually because, oh my gosh, we'd be here for... An hour just with that so I got some fun pretty teals how pretty they are classic color works and dot uh, weeks dye works are what most of these are some more blues so pretty oh and then greens I find that sometimes greens and reds can be hard to get the color you want. Um, I, in, I find that in quilting as well. I don't know if anybody else does, but I think sometimes they can just be hard, whether it's in fabric or floss. They're still so pretty. And then here's a little Honda collection of greens. These are more blue greens. Um, I don't know, I must have really liked the blue greens that day. A couple more deal. So, excuse me while I put this on the floor. Okay, uh, here's some golds that I got. Gold yellows, so pretty. Oranges, I like orange a lot. Got all of them, aren't they so pretty? Some yellow, or yellow. Does this look yellow? No. 
reds. I'm, sorry, I'm kind of pinky, but these are my more pinky ones. It's kind of a mess, but. I also picked up, I thought, well, you know, for little red work samplers, I got this little case of Leeks Dye Works Lancaster Red Two Strand Floss collection. And, um, whoops, they're on a spool. I guess I'll have to leave them in there. So I thought they might be kind of fun to do some little sample, red work samplers with. I don't know, I'll try them and see. Okay, excuse me again. Okay, so then the next thing I have to share for haul is patterns. Now, I keep my patterns in three ring binders and I do not care for, uh, okay, the first one I have is Teresa Kogut. Like I said, love her. Okay, this is called Pet All the Dogs. Like, come on. Yes, we are all gonna do that. Like, I'm on board. All, I'm on board, all of it. Pet All the Dogs, Teresa Kogut. Did I already talk about her having fabric coming out? I don't think I did. So Teresa Kogut, she um, also, back in the day, many years ago, 15 years ago, she was designing fabric. Because I remember I got a collection that had a mousse on it that I had done, it was flannel. Anyway, I recently have seen that she is designing fabric again. Not that she ever stopped. I just never didn't know that if she did, but um, recently I've seen that she has a Halloween one coming out next year and um, I saw another one but I can't think what it was anyway oh, excuse me um, so she she's she is uh, quite an artist uh, this is Blackbird Designs Merrily 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 we welcome spring this is so sweet so what I was saying about my patterns, I keep them in a three ring binder in the page protectors because I don't care for when you get patterns, how they come out of those plastic bags and you have to open them up to get them out. I don't know. I really like to just, this is called um, a greyhound ear, the blue flower. And my dog kind of has that shape. His body is shaped sort of like that. Um, and so I thought it would be fun to do something with this. I don't know exactly what, but there's one for each day of the year. So I put mine in page protectors and have them in a notebook because I can just sit down and flip through and see what I want to, I kind of have them divided by seasons or, you know, different categories. Ocean is one of my themes. This is Prim Village from Lori Holt. This is Scarlet House Heartland Sampler. Anything animal, I'm all over the animal stuff. And if you humanize an animal, that's even better. Okay, this is uh, Teresa Kogut, come to, come to the garden. I love this one, look at the moth. I love the moth in this. So pretty. Hopefully I'm not getting too much glare on there. This is the Scarlet House, Entwined Hearts. I would like to do this for in commemorative commemoration of my husband and I's anniversary, which is in September. So I might make that a new start for September. Cause you know, I need to start something else. Uh, whilst Iris naps, this one is Ann Logan. I love the colors. When I saw her show this, I loved it. So I had to get that one. I like alphabet samplers, they're fun. Okay, Map of Hawk Run Hollow. My daughter is working on this and she's almost done with this. It's gorgeous. She has stitched it on a gold colored Ada. It's beautiful. I'm gonna have to see if I can get a picture of that and show you guys because it's so pretty. This is um, Sampler Hill Country Stitches. Very sweet. Love the alphabet in the grass. Like, that's fun. And the beehive at the top. Madame Chantilly. 
basically this is Cinderella. Thought it was cute. I've actually had that one since for a couple years since I've a long time ago was going to stitch back in the day. Sassafras samplers, Marion Ling. Trying to get there's some fine colors in this. I think this would be beautiful. Okay, his eye is on the sparrow. Love this one. Heartstring samplers. Of course, you guys have all seen this. Look at all the animals on there. So I'm in. Look at all of them. It's so fun. So pretty. A peacock, a unicorn, a badger from the Scarlet Letter. I think Quirky Stitches. I don't know if any of you all follow her. I'm sure you do. She's an amazing fast stitcher. Every time you look at something she's working on, she's done with it. She's working on that. Elizabeth's Needlework Designs Antique Bird Sampler. So cute. Love them all. Okay, Hawker and Hollow. The houses of Hawker and Hollow. My daughter has started this one as well. And then next one, Hawker and Hollow, the village of Hawker and Hollow. Somebody on Instagram was working on this. I don't remember who it was. I love all the Hawker and Hollow ones. I've started Farm on Hawk, of Hawker and Hollow. Oh, it's one of my whips. Madame Chantilly. So the animals and alphabet. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, this one's so pretty. Hello from Liz Matthews. This is one of her new ones. I know you guys have seen this. The Butterfly Cloche. I have gotten a few um, uh, paperweights, and I want to do something similar to that. This is Not Forgotten Farm. This is Salem Village. I believe this is one I've had a long time as well, from a long time ago, from when I first was going to do cross-stitching and then didn't do it. It's really hard to see in that picture, but it's a fabulous, fabulous little pattern, I think. Very old looking. Um, oh, this is one, Country Cottage Needleworks, Afternoon in New York. Oops, I don't know if you guys can see that one. It's just like a, a city scene, a street scene, sorry. A street scene in a city. Okay, this is called Folly Farmstead, and I think this is so fun. Um, from Artful Offerings. Look at the animals stacked up on is bushes. And that barn is so fun. The design on the barn is cool. Home is where you hang your needlework from Homespun Elegance. This one I've had a long time too. So I guess there's a few things in here that are not new haul. So sorry about that. I'm sure you'll just have to suffer through with me. I'm sorry. Blackbird Designs, flowers for you. Very sweet. Um, gosh, I go, hope you guys can't hear my stomach growling. Okay, Plum Street Sampler. This is after uh, a gentleman's daughter. Pride and Prejudice. Love, love, love. I'm going to read it to you because I love it. He is a gentleman and I am a gentleman's daughter. So far, we are equal. Yes, Mr. Darcy. Okay. Um, trying to keep my notebook straight as we go along. This is from Lori Holt, Prim and Proper. This is Lori Holt. So she did. S-E-W. So she did. How fun is that? That'd be fun to stitch with those bright colors and the scissors and look at the pen cushion with the pens. Like, ah, that's fun. My sister gave me this one. Pretty Little New York is what it's called. Isn't that fun? This one is called Stitchville from Thimble Blossoms. Super fun too. Now she's the same one in case you didn't catch on that did the book from Bonnie and Camille this one she does fun stuff okay this is called just my type from it's so Emma yeah 
I like the typewriter a lot. I thought I might just make a typewriter little pen keep. Just the typewriter that says, just my type. Oh, whoops. There's one back here. Oh, my stomach is growling. Abby Rose Designs. Um, I gotta get these in here, I'll have a mess. Mind your manners. It says, don't let your mood dictate your manners. Cute little small. Okay, this is a full coverage from Teresa Kogut. And this just looks so cool with all these stars. It's called Star Quilt. That must be why I like it. Oh, I love this one. This is called Be Kind from Teresa Kogut as well. And if you look down here in the letters, she made Be Kind stand out with different um, color thread. Isn't that so cute? I love that one. Oh, this one too. Farm and Folk Penny Cushions from Heartstring Samplery. It's got the animals, so I'm, I'm on board. Look in the flower right here and there's pig. I mean, really, so cute. And then this flower one is cute too. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Um, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, this one, this isn't a Blackbird. This is a Blackbird design one that I actually got for complimentary from somebody that I placed an order with. And I don't remember who it was. I'm so happy to have that. So happy to have that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, guys. I'm making some progress here in my notebook. Okay. This is from Plum Street Sampler, and these are ones I've already completed, so I don't want to pull those up. Okay. Plum Street Sampler, Goodness and Plenty. Some little smalls. So fun. Oh, this one I really like too. I like them all. We all keep saying that, don't we? This is from Stacy Nash Primitives, Run With Scissors. I really like it on that black cloth too. Kind of a washed out, I think it's like blackboard or blackboard. Okay, here's a black bird design the long and winding road i know you all have seen it that's new to me um okay this is called soul birds and it's from la dee da it's really cute i like how you can put in your initials on those a big initial with the bird. Fun, fun. And kind of at the back here, let's see. So I got, well, this is Little House Needleworks, Needle Worker. Fun. And then uh, this is from, who is this? Nikki's Creation, Nick, Nikki's Creations Primitives, Girl Sewing Basket. It's so cute. I don't know that I'll make the sewing basket, but I would think it would be fun to make those in little pin keeps. Okay, and then this is from Stacy Nash Primitives, from her Animal Crackers series. Look at the fun mouse. Somebody on YouTube had just completed um, the Pilgrims and Indians and a turkey that I want. I want to get that turkey from Stacy Nash. And I don't remember who on YouTube had done it. I'm sorry, or I would share. I have a terrible memory that way. But I want to get that turkey from Stacy Nash. I got to get on and find that. 
Okay, this is Barnyard Christmas from the Prairie Schooler. And they're Christmas ornaments with animals, of course. So how cute are all those? Okay, so that's the end of one of my notebooks. Hope I'm not shaking this table too much. And so most of these have come since April. There are a few in there that I said that um, were old from, or they were old, they're old for me from um, like six years ago when I was going to cross stitch and I didn't, but I still love the charts and so I didn't get rid of them. Okay, Plum Street Samplers. This is Harvest Keeper. I love this one a lot. Look at the the flower on the witch's skirt. And then the bee scups are fun. Another Plum Street sampler, the Milk and Cream Company. Lori Holt had done this and done up a little pillow finish. It was super cute, so I had to go on and order it because I love the quilt patterns in the body of the cow. Oh, this one's fun too. Babushka's Bees. This is from Plum Street Sampler as well. Isn't she fun? Keeping all her bees. Okay, this next one is one that I've had for a while. It's my, it's an older one. It's from Stacy Nash as well. Oh, uh, it's called Houses of Berries Chapel Road, Miss Baxter's House. I like this house a lot. It's just kind of different from some of the other houses. It looks like a true log cabin house to me. I like it. This next one is In Friendship from Plum Street Samplers. How much to be prized and esteemed is a friend on whom we may always with safety depend. So I thought that was fun. And another Plum Street Samplers is Autumn Hill. And I loved all the flowers on here. Kind of has a mid-century modern look or something about it, doesn't it? Love it. Love it, love it. Sorry, you guys have to hold with me. Hang with me while I get my things back in my notebook. Okay, next one is a Blackbird Designs. It's called Dear Daughter. It says Dear Daughter of Mine. I love the moths on there. I don't think they're butterflies. I think they're moths but I could stand to be corrected, who knows. Okay. Um, this is another Plum Street sampler. I'm, I must have been on a kick that time. I probably ordered all at the same time. So sisters. So cute. I like how they have their hair up in a big bun on top of their head. So cute. Plum Street is one of my favorites. I like their stuff. We haven't gotten to, there's somebody that I think there's one, I only have one of her charts and she's my absolute favorite. And I don't know why I only have one, but I'll tell you why in a minute. Patriotic Landscape from Homespun Elegance. I've had this one a really long time as well. Super long. The houses are fun. I like houses. We all like the houses. Okay, this is, I have to take this out because you can see the chart. Um, this is from Silver Creek Samplers. It's Liberty Hill Farm, 1776. Love this one. I love the border on the top and I love the border on the bottom. I was going to do this one this year or I was going to put it on my radar recently and I don't remember what stopped me. I have a feeling it was the whale one that I've been trying to work on. Okay, and then this is Winsome Pear, Winsome Pear, and it's Palm Street Sampler. It's got a little Scotty dog on there. He's so cute with his little dog house. My daughter stitched that one too. This is called Red, White, and Bloom by uh, Brenda Gervais newer one. I'm sure you guys have seen this one. I love this sunflower right here. The next one coming up here is Land of Liberty. 
uh, from Brenda as well. Super cute. I know you guys have seen that one recently too, because I have. Somebody on Floss Tube had it. Oh, this is an old one that I've had a long time. It's called Liberty Health, and it's from Country Spirits Collection. And this is, it's not a very big one, it's very small. But I don't, I'm not gonna get to it this year. I'm gonna try to finish up the patriotic ones I've already started. This is from Threadwork Primitives, the land that I love. I've had this one also a while. That flag is fun. This is Blackbird Designs, Lady Liberty. I know y'all have seen it. But we love it. Okay, my next section here is Ocean. So there's a couple fun ones in here. Love this one. This is called... This is from the Primitive Hair, Mother of the Ocean. I thought this was really fun. Thought it would be fun to stitch. Of course, I love them all. This is King Crab Sampler uh, from, what's this from? Artful Offerings. Let's see here. Oh, this is Comfort Lighthouse from Carriage House Samplings. Super fun. Look at the mermaid and the ship and the lighthouse. I love it all. The anchor, the fish swimming. Um, it's really fun. The moon and stars. Okay, this is from Madame Chantilly and it's Bunnies on the beach. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have to stay up with my haul showing so I don't have to do this all at once all the time. This is Praiseworthy Stitches. Oh, it's from Praiseworthy Stitches called Beach Dream. And it's a drum. I'm gonna show you the other side because the other side shows the complete piece that, um, you could choose not to make it a drum. I don't know what I'll do. Okay, this one, this is from Plum Street Samplers. It's Yuletide Shanty. And I've seen this before many times and I've looked at it and see the Santa on the ship. He's kind of a Christmas, it's a Christmas drum. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I like the ocean thing, you know, but I, I never, I was like, mm, I don't know. Then someone showed the band for the drum and I was like oh my gosh yes please look look at this how cute is this it's a whale under the ocean and there's like presents down there and candy canes with the flowers and I just think it's so cute I love this part and whoever showed it like held it up and it was so cute all stitched up so after I saw that I'm like had to get online and order it straight away this is Scattered Seed Samplers, um, Humble Gatherings. I like, I like bunnies too. I like to do bunnies. I don't know, kind of have a thing for them. Well, of course it's an animal, so. Although the animals I really don't care for are snakes. I'll have to pass on those. Even to stitch them, I don't know. Okay, this is Briar Rabbit from La Di Da. I love it, it's really sweet. There's a alphabet behind him. I hope you guys can see things okay. Now this next one I've had for a long time. It's from Stacy Nash Primitives and it's called Spring Hair Standing Pin Keep. Okay, so here's a picture of it. Now this is the project that did me in six years ago. I had a piece of linen that I was stitching on. I couldn't see, I was getting so frustrated. I was trying to stitch the bunny and I quit. I'm like, I'm done. I can't see, I can't stitch. I'm so disappointed. I threw the piece away and put cross stitching away and didn't come back to it until this year. So that, that's the piece that did me in. And I'm gonna stitch it on Ada. You just wait, I'm gonna do it. Okay, this is la -dee da love the alphabet with the bunny, so cute. 
Okay, and then this last one, oh no, it's not the last one, but this one is the gal. I love everything she does, Kathy Barrick. This is the only tart of hers that I have, but I have an entire cart full of her stuff right now that I have not pulled the trigger on because I love everything she does, everything. Well, you know, I like all the Hawk Run Hollow stuff. I know she was part designer in some of those things. I don't, this is uh, Rodney. I don't have Rebecca, who is the, the mate to Rodney. I'm gonna have to get him, get her. She's in the cart, along with a bunch of other stuff. Love her stuff. Absolutely, I think she's my favorite. Okay, I think, oh, yep, that's it. Earrings, I've already seen that because that's something I'm stitching. I already stitched. Okay, I think, I think that's it. That's all my haul that I have for right now. And I'm gonna try to stay caught up with haul so I don't have to do just a haul video. I mean, maybe people like just a haul video. I don't know, because they don't go listen to me talk about anything else. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you everyone for joining me and spending your time with me. I'm sorry, kicking my counter. Um, I really appreciate everyone tuning in and have a great day. Talk to you soon, bye.